everyone, I'm Jared Abergy and I'm here with Academy Trained. I'm here to discuss the compatibility of MRS and SRS. Uh, just a quick go over of MRS, moving rope system. Um, you know, there's a lot of different types of cordage out there today. And uh, with MRS, it's all about compatibility of your friction cord and your climbing, your climbing rope. Okay, whether you're on you know, a 9.3 and a, um, a half inch line or 11.5, you have to figure out that for yourself and really test a lot of different ropes and a lot of different friction cord um, to figure out what works for you and your body weight and how you climb. And so really this depends on whether I'm over a branch or through a pulley or through uh, a, a friction saver, but for you guys figuring out what you typically climb on in a day, figure out what kind of rope feels good in the hand for you. Uh, the next is what type of braid, okay? This, there's everywhere from you know 16 strand, 24 strand, 32, 32 strand, 36 strands. So there's a lot of different ropes out there, okay? This here is a 24 strand double braid, okay? It holds well, it's got good, good grip here, it's 11.5, and this friction hitch, works really well on it. Now this works good for me. Now I can't say that's going to be great for everybody else, but for you guys going through that process and testing out a lot of different ropes and friction cord, this is my, is my recommendation. When we move into SRS, uh, these systems vary depending on uh, whether they're rope or mechanical advantage. So that's going to change the compatibility of what kind of rope you're going to use. Nowadays, when we're climbing SRS, we're using um, foot ascenders and knee ascenders that have toothed cams, okay? So when we're using these systems, uh, they do beat up the rope over time, and they start to have more fray and wear and tear. So moving into a Kern Mantle rope that you see right here, this is ecstatic, right? This hold, holds really well and is very abrasion resistant, which makes it very nice for using um, your foot ascenders and knee ascenders. All right, so with that, you're gonna have some type of chest harness for these systems as well. And how you tether that system up, whether it be a lanyard or a sling or an INI or a nice chest harness, um, that's gonna be a game changer to, to, to make your system work best for you, okay? So whether you're using rope or mechanical advantage or mechanical device, uh, you really need to figure out what works best for you, so test it all out and use as much as you can. Well, that's it for today, you guys. I hope you guys got something. Um, come check us out at academy-train.com and hope to see you guys soon.